What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I know you guys are hurting for some content, so I finally got a chance to make another video. It's gonna be a video of, it's a culmination of living in Japan and growing up a fan of JDM cars, mesh together, see what comes out. Everybody has lists. I got some lists for you today. I got best looking, best sounding, most moddable, most potential, best out of the box, and the most iconic. Oh, don't forget, my favorite. The list may surprise you more than you think. Let's get started and check it out. To start with pretty things so we'll start with the best looking cars come out of japan and this is really hard it's a lot harder than you think if you actually sit down and think about it there's so many gorgeous cars you have the nsx you have the fdrx7 you have the mark IV supra you have the ken mary the 180 sx type x i think my favorite car look wise to ever come out of japan has got to be the nsx it's breathtaking it's beautiful i think look like exterior wise it's the only car i would trade my gtr for if it was a manual, I would do a one for one trade. They're really sought after and they're hard to come by. But I, every time I see one, I kind of stop my tracks and I've sat in them and they're really little. The FDs are the same way, FDRX7 is the same way. It's beautiful, but it's so small to sit in. It is gorgeous. The best looking car to come out of Japan is the NSX. And you gotta check out this video from Lowdown. He does a 4K, like slow mo showcase this NSX and it's beautiful. <laughs> I'll show a little clip right here. It's amazing. <laughs> the best sounding car to come out of Japan? Oof, that's tough. So you got the two JZs. I mean, RB26s sound great with, especially with titanium exhausts. The rotary sound good, SR20 sound good. I, I know some of you guys saw the video with Jeremy's S S14 Sylvia making all the noise. Oh, all the turbo noises are so sexy. I think the best sounding car I've heard from my time in Japan has been that white Supra from my Supra video. I'll put some clips in right here. God, that car sounds amazing. It sounds so good. Oh, it sounds so good. I, I wish I would have recorded more of it. I didn't know it was gonna sound as good as it did until we got on the road and it did a flyby and I was like, what? I don't know what exhaust he has. I've got to write that guy, he's a beautiful man. The most modifiable, Honda guys are about to be super stoked because obviously the Honda Civic and the Honda Integra or Acura Integra, depending on where you are, are by far the most modifiable cars. It's crazy. Oh shit, there's one right there. <laughs> so, I mean, anything you wanna replace, you can replace on a Civic or an Integra. I had my Honda days in my past. I had a few Integras. I had one LS VTEC with a little turbo on it. So it was an LS Integra with a Civic SI head on it and a little bitty T3 turbo. It wasn't fast, but it was a blast to drive. Even my mechanic was like, this car is amazing. <laughs> and he built it. I was like, thanks. Yeah, you did it. So I actually ended up selling it to him uh, whenever I left. Russ, if you're watching, hope you're still enjoying that car. Yeah, it's if you're young and you want to to put your stamp on the world and modify a car, which I suggest you do. I mean, if you're a car dude, if you're watching this, you're probably a car dude, and that's the kind of stuff you wanna do. So get a Civic, get an Integra, modify it, make it yours, you'll have a blast, you'll love it. It won't be super fast, but it'll be fun. <laughs> Most potential, and this is up for debate. A lot of people are gonna say the 2JZ, a lot of people are gonna say the RB26, or the RB series at all, I guess, I think because you see so many 1,000 horsepower plus Supras. I mean, you see GTRs have 1,000 horsepower, but it seems like way more common to see GT, uh, Supras that have, you know, 1,000, 1,500 horsepower plus, it's crazy. But I think the edge on the most potential is gonna have to be on the 2JZ only because of the displacement. It is a little bit bigger. I know somebody's gonna argue, argue the RB30 argument. It's a pretty uncommon setup. However, it is a beast and it sounds awesome. So, <laughs> but most potential gonna have to be ding. 2JZ. Best out of the box. Now, this is kind of interesting because I have a feeling that a lot of you guys are going to guess what I would think wrong. So, 
What do you think I'm going to say? You probably thought I was going to say GTR. However, I think the best out of the box has got to be the Evo or the STI. I mean, they're light, they're nimble, they have better gearing. On a smaller track, both those cars, the Evo and the STI, especially like the GC8 or something, would walk the GTR. Um, I've seen videos of it, both stock for stock on smaller tracks. I know the GTR gets them on the Nurburgring, but I think it's because it's a higher speed track and has some more top end, so the GTR can really stretch out its legs. But the best out of the box is going to be a tie for me. It's going to be either this beautiful Evo 6 or the GC8 STI. Both cars are awesome. They sound good. I didn't list that the best sounding is the Impreza or the WRX. That boxer motor sounds amazing. The best out of the box has got to be the Evos and the STIs. They're awesome. Most iconic. Close your eyes. I already know you can picture it. It's, what color is it? It's white, black, maybe a tofu delivery. Not dropping a single drop of water, you know. Even if you're not into anime or cars, you probably even know what an A86 is. I think it's probably the most iconic car to ever come out of Japan, closely rivaled by anything with a GTR badge. Oh, speak of the devil, in this video behind me, there actually is an A86. Uh, it's 11, and it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> but I think that's gonna have to take the reins of the most iconic car ever. Even though the R34 is close, close, close on its heels, just because the taillights, the headlights, the lines, the curves, its presence in you know media and mainstream stuff and all the fanboys, which I'm one of, I'm not too ashamed to say it, but I have to give the edge on most iconic car ever. It's gonna have to be A86, just because it's, it's you see one and if it does if it's not white and black, you think it looks funny. That's saying something. But this boils down to my favorite car to ever come out of Japan. So this is where it gets tough because. If you guys don't know me, I've had five Fastback 240SXs in the States, so 180SXs here in Japan. I think one of my favorite cars is the uh, 180SX Type X. It's beautiful. Whenever I used to play Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift with James back in the day, we'd always get the uh, the purple 180, and now Spencer has one. Jerk. <laughs> but now nah, it's not my favorite car. That's just one of them. Um, let's see what else we, do we have. The Stagia 260 RS. I was sad because the Stagia 260 RS came out in 96, I believe, and I needed to get a car that was 95 or older, so I went with the GTR. But if I could get a 96, I probably would be taking a Stagia home, and I'd be putting the R34 front on it, and having a GTR wagon, I think that'd be so dope. That car is awesome. The R34 GTR V-Spec, I've sat in a bunch of them. I've ridden in one or two. They're amazing cars. It's so beautiful, especially in the Midnight Purple. Ooh, or the Millennium Jade. Ooh, or Bayside Blue. Jeez, they're all gorgeous. Um, but I think my favorite car coming out of Japan, because I'm biased, is gonna have to be my car. My actual white with a black hood, Black T 37s R33 GTR V spec. It's not the best. It's not the best sounding. It's not the best looking. But because it is mine, I think it's my favorite car to ever come out of Japan. Even though there's things I traded for, it's only because I haven't owned those yet. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I know it was a little different. I have some ideas of upcoming videos. One that might include a helicopter ride. Hmm. So stay tuned. Please in the comments. Tell me what your favorite car is. Tell me your car story, what you grew up owning, what you would love to own, if you got the chance, anything. I'd love to hear you. I like to hear your stories. So like, comment, and as always, I'll see you next time.